Hey guys, morning. This is uh, something that I'm trying to keep my promise that I made yesterday. It's 6:23, and uh, I stress particularly all the time is uh, do not support monopoly. This is because the kind of events and situations every other person faces is totally different now i am not pointing towards any brand this is for each and every brand i'm talking about be it samsung or be it apple selection of television i have been hearing a lot from my relatives now four to five of my relatives have consulted me as of now for this mi tv now i have to ask this question to myself first of all when i'm buying a television what i'm going to do with that does it have to be a smart television when i say smart television it should be uh, capable to con- connect to internet allow me to uh, cast my phone if 3d is there it's well and good but it's going to be expensive i don't and know if 3d tvs even exist nowadays or not uh, and then there is one more thing that i specifically look f- uh, forward when i'm buying a television or i'm thinking to buy a television is the content what i'm going to watch it on watch on it is probably 90% of the time i would be using a uh, cable connection or uh, Uh, dth to watch stuff hear me out if you are using a direct to home connection or a cable service you probably are paying 300 rupees to 350 rupees roughly uh, monthly for a you know, one month package yes now out of that we get like 10 5 to 10 hard hardly 5 to 10 uh, hd channels which are really uh not useful half of them would be some nonsense uh, news news channels and you don't want to you know uh, listen to them one on one or the other odd would be national geographic or discovery one would be some uh, music channel or one would be entertainment channel that's how it works now when you want complete uh, hd channels If, you, if there are 50 channels in HD, let's say if you want 50 of the 50, you probably would end up paying like 600, 700 rupees a month for the DTH or cable service, whatever you prefer. I'm giving an example. Hear me out. And do you really watch all those channels? Uh, and who uses that TV? Kids, most of the time, the elderly people. and the homemakers who are in a home most of the time you would be spending in college or an office so only time that you get to watch is when you are at home for like 15 minutes 20 minutes 1 hour maximum that's how you can watch because spending time uh, daily in office or in college you definitely do not appreciate uh, spending rest of the time is sitting in front of a stupid box and watching the kind of crap that it has been served to you you cannot choose what you want to see it's just there and you have to just stand there or sit there and uh, watch it so that's how it works is it worth it now coming to the 4k part i've covered how much cost is for normal connection or how much it costs for a full high definition connection and how much it costs for 4k connection it wouldn't cost anything because it doesn't even exist now when you are trying to watch a 4k uh, not a 4k no sorry a high definition video on a 4k panel it has to maximize those pixels to the 4k level i mean uh, this resolution over here of uh, full hd is 1080p for 4k it's four times that is uh, 2160 okay let the dog complete its barking probably it's not liking the other dog okay 2160p is the 4k resolution and do you really think that 
if you are playing HD video on a 4K panel, it would give you a pleasant experience? Definitely not. Try playing a, a 480p video on an HD panel and you would see the difference. You would be able to see those square squares uh, generally classified as pixels. If you are... Could you please stop my friend? Yeah, the dog is not going to move. Why would I want to watch 480p video on an HD panel like HD phone or HD device or like your computer screen or a laptop? Because on a standard uh, dish uh, which is uh, any dish like uh, Tata Sky or uh, Dish TV or big uh, whatever the DTH sub providers are or the cable services for that matter. If they are not HD their resolutions is 480p. So that's the standard uh, definition uh, connection that you're getting it. Imagine that video being played on an HD panel when you are able to get those pixels. What will happen once it is on a 4K panel? Um, you would literally get irritated and you would want, you would have to purchase those all those remaining HD channels so that it you know satisfies you in some way. Now always there is an option that you can go into the settings and decrease the uh, resolution from 4K to 2K to uh, uh, you know 1080p if it is provided in the television if it's provided then only it's happening but still you know that's an algorithm that compresses uh, those pixels so it's sort of an illusion still the panel is 4k the software and the algorithms are designed in such a way that you would be able to you know it would justify the HD uh, resolution that's what it would do but it wouldn't completely justify and still it would be watchable but not for a long time if you're watching a movie you would get uh, pissed off with the kind of things that are going if you are seeing an action se uh, sequence and something like this happens those pixels come here and you would literally get irritated because I have had experience it was really pain it re literally painful I, be I believe I was watching Transformers movie, the first Transformers, which uh, Megan Fox, she had, she was in the first movie and the second movie as well. So that was the first movie we were trying to watch and the sequence where, uh, uh, what's the car name? Some Bumblebee, yeah. When the Bumblebee transforms into uh, his actual avatar, that scene it was literally a pixel it pix it i cannot even explain you how bad that scene was and so i thought it could be my our internet connection that's why so we decided to let it buffer and we you know rewind it it still no good because that was a 4k panel we were trying to play at 1080p video on a 4k panel and that's what the result we got and this is the thing like couple of years back yeah, exactly one and a half years to two years back that was the time when I did this stuff and since then I have decided to educate people about this resolution factor you have to choose between what you want and what you do not want it's just because some pro companies providing all one ton feature in a price that nobody can uh, offer you doesn't mean that you have to purchase it now, people are going madly uh, for exchange offers like they're selling their TVs on OLX or somewhere else. All these five relatives of mine and one friend, they have come up with this stupid, uh, you know, opinion about this MI TV 4 that they are about to sell their 32 inches LED or Sony or Videocon or whatever the company it is, and they want to buy this Xiaomi. So they are ready to pay extra amount and they were asking me, a few of them were asking me where I can get in an offline market. So I was like, uh, don't ask me, even if it is available somewhere, I would not provide you that information because I'm against that. If, it, if you can buy it on flash sale, just go ahead and buy it. Uh, but my honest opinion would be that not to buy it. But they would not listen and their efforts are... Uh, stronger than what they used to be earlier and they have to get their hands on because it's sort of a reputation thing or uh, I would say a competition but my neighbor has MI device I should also have the same device 
I remember this used to be back when uh, you know he has this Nokia phone Nokia N70 I would go ahead and buy Nokia N72 or N71 or N73 this sort, sort of uh, I'm not giving you a, a definite example but just a scenario where this thing used to happen if he has a Maruti 800 I would go ahead and my, my Maruti Zen that was the competition and exactly this same thing is happening over here people do not overlook the fact uh, people you know just don't look at this fact that this is the television that they need to buy there'll be that will be in their home for at least five ten years do they need it are they going to use the forky content and most important thing that they forget about is the usability a smart television without internet connection is useless a 4k uh, resolution panel without 4k content is useless an HD television without HD content is useless so it's as good as you are watching a black and white uh, film on a colored uh, you know color monitor or color television so that's the line where you need to draw uh, between your fantasies and between the reality you want to buy something that is being presented to you you can fantasize about it it doesn't mean that you have to buy it and that's a reality now people blindly just follow one thing that 40,000 rupees 4k smart television 8gb internal this is the ram that is the no you know, that's a universal remote and what not they just try to justify they try to justify their need just because MITV is providing you 8 gigabytes of uh, internal me onboard memory and it ha they claim that it's world's thinnest television which is not LG's wallpaper TV is the world's thinnest TV it is only 1 mm thick LG wallpaper TV and uh, I believe Xiaomi's panel is somewhere 8.5 millimeters thick and that to the only display panel if you look at the machinery which is uh, at the bottom half it's somewhere close to like 15 millimeters 15 millimeters to 18 millimeters thick with the machinery where you in, you know connect the port and where the PCB everything is that part is at least 15 to 18 millimeters thick so this is definitely madness I don't understand how people can fall for it it's like jo dikta hai, wo dikta hai, but people are not uh, seeing what actually is getting sold uh, one more thing that I was pitched by one of my relative is uh, it comes with universal remote and you know for I have to carry a Tata Sky remote and then there's this uh, they have a home theater and then they have a television so uh, they have to use a te television's remote to switch on the television then then they use Tata Sky uh, for uh, you know uh, switching the channels and since they want uh, pleasant sound experience they have this uh, home theater and they have a separate remote control for them so they want to use uh, uh, one remote for all of them so I suggested why don't you buy a re universal remote if you have uh, hassle for this certainly it would not be cheap it, you would have to spend like 2000-3000 rupees on universal remote but why you want to spend 40,000 rupees on a television just because it comes with universal remote buy a, a second hand MI mobile yeah you will be able to find each and every MI phone uh, starting from this Redmi Note 3 they are extremely cheap at the moment on OLX you will get it for 3000-4000 rupees uh, buy this Redmi 3S uh, 3S Prime yeah I have seen there are tons of phones available there are 3000 rupees so, that you will give, get a mobile phone you can keep it at your home you can use it as a universal remote and uh, what not I mean for limited uses that phone is perfectly fine but there they still go ahead and justify that you know it's still not a good thing you know that MI ka mobile I'm using it as a remote how does it look it was exactly their uh, emotions and the sentences the how would it look so purchasing an MI phone is you know not justifiable according to you but purchasing an MI television is definitely justifiable I mean I don't find any logic in it if you can find it please let me know how it is justifiable and I believe I should uh, rest this video at uh, this place because it's been like 42 minutes I'm talking constantly and walking along with as well 
investing that amount of money is literally a big thing and you would need to ask yourself that do you really really even want it uh okay that's it for this for this time and please share this information across whoever you you can i'm not going to ask you to watch this video because even if i was at your place i wouldn't watch this 15 minutes long video nobody has that time to watch a video I, you might have something else to do but just once you come across it you can fast forward it you can ask me about this video on our uh, on this channel itself or in our whatsapp group just be sure that you go through it bye bye